Hey, everyone, it's Pastor Cal. He's the dad. Yay, thank you. And Dr. Pepper. Let's talk about sex. <laughs> you are from this moment engaged. I think I'm tearing up. This is Married at First Sight Relationship Rewind. Each week, Dr. Pepper and I watch a clip from the latest episode of Married at First Sight, and we're going to give you our honest, no BS reaction. This will be the very first time we're watching this footage, and tonight, we're looking at a very difficult conversation between Eris and Jasmine about love. When's the last time you've been in love? You were, you were in love. Yes, I would definitely say in my last relationship, I was in love, so Is recent. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love the game. Well, I've never, never, never been in love. Hold up. What, what does that mean? I love the game. What does that mean? I'm afraid I know what it means. It mean, I, I love it means being a player? Like, yeah, I think that's what he's saying. That's how I take it in as a woman. I love the game. Yeah. Eris is a nice person. Yes. I like Eris. We wouldn't have picked him if we didn't like yes. him a lot. Just think of her a little bit. Keep playing. I love, I've never been like in love. Like head over heels, blinders on, only thinking about this one person. Googly eyes, yeah, that ain't never happened. Yeah. He's got this yeah, weird yeah, idea what that. love is, you know? Yeah. I mean, like it's gotta be heart stopping, googly eyes, and if it isn't that, it isn't love. Unfortunately, this is the definition that we see so often. What he's talking about is lust and infatuation. Well, I, I think he's like looking at movies too much. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. I mean, yeah it, it never lasts. No. It's not a sustaining emotion. Anybody who has ever been in a good marriage knows that the love you are in later is way better than the love you were in earlier. Exactly, and that is the whole growth process. Yeah. Oh, well, let's go on. Yeah. Mm. OK. She's hurt. You can wow. see that in her face. Wow. She's worried. <laughs> OK. I'm processing right now, knowing that he's been in like a year and a half relationship. Like, there's no way I can stay in a relationship that long if if I'm not in love. So if but, my way of giving love isn't enough for him, then he could possibly not fall in love with me either. And that's scary. Let's stop that. That's that's the issue. I often tell people that love is not the feeling part. Love is a commitment part. And the feeling part is great. It's like the icing on love. But the cake of love is a commitment. I think that's really wise. And I think he was more connected to this woman he was with then he's letting himself realize. Exactly. And, and now she's given her perfect reaction, which is, wait a minute, he was in a year and a half and he didn't call that love? What yes. was he doing there? Who is he, right? Exactly, exactly. And, and yeah, her, her response is absolutely appropriate. Right. And a part of her concern might be, will he recognize what I'm doing as love? Well, one of the things everybody should do is ask the other ask person. Ask the other person. Right? You know, do you understand that what I'm doing is me loving you? Exactly. You know? And if it isn't what you need, tell me what you need. Yes. I don't think I've ever... Met someone who's never been in love? Yeah. You're 39 and you've never been in love and we're married and we have this short time frame to figure out if we want to stay together or not. So, like... Right. Do you have to be in love at the end of this to say yes? Nah, Stop it. Stop nah, it. Nah, 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 and you know, nah, nah. I know nah, you're nah, thinking nah, nah, like nah, nah. what I'm thinking, which no. is it's not a short time frame. We try over and over oh to say gosh. eight weeks is when we're here, not when you're here. Exactly. And they just make it this gosh. eight week vision. Did you know? they forget everything we tell them during the interviews? You do our private meetings, they forget everything. You don't have to be in love. We're here to help you during this period, but it's the beginning. You don't have to be in love at the end. You just, I mean, we both said our version yes. of, you just have to be liking this person a lot, seeing possibilities, getting That's to know it. them, starting to form a bond. This is where we're here to help you, but we're talking about a lifetime commitment and and you can't make it an eight week commitment. You cannot. Anyhow, let's, Let's go on. Uh, this is upsetting. <laughs> you might not be in love at the end either. I know. Yeah. But do you have to be in love to you? Good question. Who? Good question. I don't know the answer to that. Because if I've never been in love, you don't expect it to was fall saying in the pretty hard to fall in love. Yeah. I'm not saying that it's, it's impossible. I'm just saying, like, you never know. That's not the question she well. asked, though. 
know, it's that's tough. That is not the question she asked. Do you? No. She asked, "Do you need to be in love to stay in it after eight weeks?" Yeah. And he just talked about love in general. He didn't yeah. answer the question. People think that. Honesty is telling them every hesitation, <laughs> oh. every worry, every bad thought that goes through their head. You have to think through what you say. Words matter and they last. Yes. I mean, they're just starting. All she wants is a possibility. Yes. All she wants to know that there's a possibility of this working, there's a possibility, and he has it within him to give her that. I agree. He's a smart guy, so he just now has to get the right words to convey the proper message. And, and I think that they could turn this around. Because I know she's ready. Oh, yeah. Well, that is all the time we have for this Relationship Rewind. We'll see you next time.